All right, guys, Trevor Shanahan coming to you with another Flock Talk. I got a special guest today. I have David Radulovich here. He is a world champion FITAS shooter, three-time U.S. Open shooter, perpetual Team USA sporting clay shooter. Um, we're here at his facility that he's building right now, uh, Cypress Creek Lodge. Shooting Lodge. Yeah. Shooting Lodge? Yeah. Okay, Cypress Creek Shooting Lodge, uh, just north of Conway, Arkansas. Uh, he is going all out on this place. It is going to be a premier training facility for shooters. Uh, it's great. We did a little duck hunting today, so uh, we're going to go over some some ways to improve your wing shooting uh, out, uh, you know, out in the field, out in the woods. Um, and stay tuned. Uh, looking for some joint ventures between David and I here in the future yeah. at this lodge. So without further ado, I'm going to let him teach you guys how to become better shooters. Let's go. Hey guys, what's up? So uh, I'm gonna go over a couple things that uh, I see a lot, a lot of mistakes in the blind. Uh, I teach everyday shooting and that's a little bit uh, different than when it comes to hunting, but there are a lot of things we can take over from doing competitive sporting clay shooting into into a blind or, or flooded timber, or however you like to hunt. So <clears throat> the first thing is movement, all right? So everybody likes to get onto the bird real fast, take a shot and make a lot of move, but what we don't think about is where is that movement coming from? So the first thing that we really need to pay attention to is making sure that we're not disassociating the hands and the plane of the gun from the eyes. So uh, what that would look like is if I'm moving left and right on a bird or as you know, on a clay target, they move in very predictable patterns because we know what they're gonna be. On a bird, it's gonna be very erratic, especially you got a duck coming in a hole. So um, it's very easy to kind of just flip the hands onto the bird and move it off of your eyes. So what we want to do is always have a uh, consistent relationship between this and my eyes. I mount the gun like this, okay? All my movement up and down needs to be like this in my posture, okay? And then all my movement left and right needs to be like this in my body. Even it, no matter what game or what bird I'm shooting, it needs to be that way. What I, what I cannot have happen is this up and down. You see how this is changing the relationship between my eyes and my head? Even if I keep my head on the gun and I move like that, do you see how my head is moving on the gun? Okay, now what can happen if I'm doing that? <clears throat> Say I got a bird passing over me and I'm trying to shoot up in the air. And if I'm not moving my body, watch what happens here. I want you to look at the plane of this into my eyes. So I'm gonna move like this. All of a sudden, if I close my left eye and I look down the barrel, I can't anymore. I've totally occluded my right eye and I'm gonna be shooting with my left eye. I'm gonna guarantee miss on that bird. So again, empty gun. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like down the barrel. So if I move with my whole body, you can see how my head is moving with the gun. If I move with my hands, you see how the gun is not moving with my eyes? When I'm looking at the bird like I should be when I'm shooting and I'm moving with my hands, now my brain doesn't know where the gun is shooting. So number one, movement, very important. The next thing that's really important, uh, in shooting is is the mount so uh, in competitive shooting we have a lot of rules based around how we need to mount the gun in hunting there's not but a lot of the same concepts again come into the hunting uh, with waterfowl so in shooting birds a lot of time you're going from a very still position not moving sometimes not even anywhere close to a ready position uh, to mounting a gun and making a move on a bird if you do that too quickly you can easily mount wrong and, and again, going into the movement or the relationship between the gun and the eyes, if you mount in the wrong spot, the gun is not gonna shoot where you're looking. So we need to, we need to practice mounting. So what, what does that look like? So we got a chair right here. It's a really nice chair. Uh, and my, my 20 year old game boards. Um, but so what I'm gonna be doing is, number one, in terms of mounting, I need to make sure that I'm not trying to mount too fast, okay? If you try to rush a mount and you get into the wrong spot, the correction, the time that it takes to correct the mount is gonna take you twice as long as if you just mount at about half as, half as fast and got into the right spot. So when I'm mounting onto a bird, okay, I'm just gonna make a nice slow move like that. It doesn't need to be really fast. Once you get better, you can get faster at it, 
uh, but we need to make sure that at least while we're learning the mechanics of the mount and the movement that we're not trying to go faster than we can handle. Don't allow the, the external atmosphere of what's happening with the birds flying around you and maybe your guide telling you to take them somewhere. Uh, you know, don't allow that to get you amped up and make a fast move and a bad move. Col you know, calm, collected, controlled movement is really important. So as you're looking at the bird, we want a nice, slow mount up into the shoulder. Okay, so I have these, um, uh, have a, a bunch of calls uh, on me right now so I can kind of demonstrate that being in the way. Um, if you're calling while in the blind, you gotta make sure that um, as you're mounting, that you're not going to just flip the gun up like this and have it underneath your shoulder, uh, any type of jackets or anything that you're wearing. So a nice good movement in a blind is gonna be up, out, and in, okay? It's very important that you practice that to get consistent connection in your shoulder and your face. Um, if I'm gonna do that while I'm sitting, okay, so I'm sitting on this, on this bench right here, say I'm on a, in a blind, gun barrel is always up. Uh, as I'm looking up here, I have my hand, everything on this position, my hands on the safety right here, my finger. And as we, uh, as we get ready to go shoot, okay, I'm gonna stand up, safety off, mount, bang. Okay, so it's pretty easy to do all in one motion, uh, but the biggest thing is I'm not trying to go too fast. A lot of people, I wanna bring up an important part here. There's a difference between um, compounding movement and then doing everything separately. So if you're gonna stand up, mount the gun, make the move, pull the trigger, it's gonna take you a lot longer than if you're mounting the gun as you're standing up and then make the move and pull the trigger. So that's basically it. Okay, so we're gonna be shooting this bird off this tower, uh, well off the uh, cliff up there. Um, and it's gonna simulate a, a bird, you know, if you're standing back in a hole or in a blind, you got a bird crossing your decoys. Um, and I'm, we're picking this bird specifically, this target here specifically to, to showcase movement because there's no bird that gives you more movement than a bird crossing you, right? So most of your shots are gonna be coming in but on that type of, of, of shot, you're not gonna be moving very much. So to first show movement, we're gonna shoot a crossing bird. So uh, we'll go ahead and uh, I'll just demonstrate everything. What I'm gonna do, what you'll see, is I'm gonna be standing up and mounting at the same time that I'm rotating my whole body, right? I'm making sure to not make my movement this way with that target happen in my hands, pulling the gun away from my face. It's gonna be, you can think of yourself moving like a tank turret, right? The whole body in the barrel in the same, uh, at the same speed in one solid movement. So we'll go ahead and throw the bird. All right, bird's out, come up. Okay, so the next style of bird that we're gonna show you how to shoot is like a, a what's called a driven bird. Um, you, yeah, I actually shoot a lot of these, um, especially on a layout blind. Um, but if I'm if I'm shooting uh, anything coming, oh, starting out in front, going over your head. Okay, so um, what we said earlier in the video where we wanna make sure that movement happens in the whole body and doesn't disassociate hands from eyes. Uh, very important on this. So we need to make sure that as we're moving that the hands are not bringing the gun up and keeping the posture and body still because then the gun is going to go and occlude your dominant eye. So your, your brain will have no idea where the gun is pointing. What we need to make sure that happens is that we use a whole posture change back to maintain the relationship uh, with our eyes and hands. So we'll go ahead and demonstrate that. <coughs> Okay, so 
What I'm gonna show here is two different styles to shoot that driven bird. One we can stay above the target the whole time, and the other one we're gonna start below and swing through. Um, if you ever get a chance to go out to a sporting clays course or a really good opportunity to do this on is a Skeet Field Station 8 on the high house, uh, which you probably have a lot more access to, you can practice this move. So basically the first one I'm gonna do and show is as the bird is coming, I'm inserting my gun on top of the bird, looking through the gun with my eyes, meaning I'm looking down below here with my eyes and keeping the gun above the target the whole time. Hey guys, just a disclaimer, next couple videos, gonna be this guy shooting because not only is David a better shooter than me, apparently he's better at videoing people shooting too. Back to your regularly scheduled program. So then the other bird that we're gonna shoot, uh, the other style that we'll shoot is more of a swing through style, which is, uh, it tends to be a little easier for those of you who, um, don't have as good visual discipline meaning like you don't really know how to work your eyes as good on targets so maybe if you're not that experienced shooting targets uh and mainly just a hunter you wouldn't have the opportunity to practice a move like this uh, it can be easier if you know how to work your eyes this way so what i'm going to be doing um on uh on this is basically as the bird's coming i'm starting my gun underneath it and i'm looking up at the bird so that way in terms of a sight picture um if if my eyes are looking here, the bird is gonna be right up here rather than right down here, right? For most of the shots. So I'm following the bird up and then last second I'm flipping, I'm gonna basically swing my gun through the target or through the bird and shoot it uh, as it gets closer to being above me. All right, so just to summarize everything that we worked on today, the first thing is going to be movement. So we wanna make sure that your movement left to right is in rotation and your movement up and down is in a change of posture, just so the hands and the eyes don't become disconnected. The second thing that we worked on is the mount and the positioning. So making sure that you understand that slow movement really is faster because it doesn't need any correction. Make a good controlled slow move come up, out, and in if you're hunting, um, and practice that. A, a great way to practice it is uh, by sitting on your couch at home with the gun and, and stand up as you mount maybe 30 to 50 times a night. Just practice it over and over and over again because repetition is going to be what allows you to have consistency uh, out in a field.